and Jacqueline Simino and Corinne Thomas join us now in studio. Fresh off their Pan Am victory yesterday. Welcome. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. How are you both feeling after that? Well, you won two gold medals. <laughs> you won together, synchronized pair, and then you went on, got back into the pool, and won gold with the team. Yeah. yeah. What was that like? I mean, it's a dream come true. Uh, to be here in Toronto performing in front of all our fans, our friends and family, uh, it's, it's really quite an honor. And everything about these Pan Am games has been amazing. And it's just cherry on top of Sunday. And when that score came up and you saw that, that you had won gold? Well, to be honest, I don't think we even looked at the score. Yeah. We just looked at the rank number one. And at that moment, we kind of just knew that we qualified. So we were both ecstatic at that moment and getting a little emotional. Yeah, just a little bit, right? Because just a little bit. How much work goes into this? Uh, hours and hours of training. We've been training almost 12 hours a day for about a couple Three of months, months now. Yeah. So it's a lot of hard work, you know, a lot of emotion and physical tiredness that gets into it, but it's, it's really all worth it now. And when you come up with a routine, like with synchronized swimming, how do you find a routine that is challenging enough to get that score, but uh, you know, easy enough to perform. <laughs> the easy you enough to perform easy, is say. never a question for our coaches. We just try to keep pushing of how technical, how high, how much, um, you know, choreography we can really get into a four minute routine. And wh now you're going to Rio. What is that like? <laughs> it's incredible. I mean, this will be like my first Olympic Games. I know for Karen, it's her second, but I, I really wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her sitting right next to me. So I'm just really, really excited. <laughs> What's your relationship like? <laughs> I, I like to think of it like I'm uh, a lot older than she is. Uh, she's one of the new ones on the team. And I think um, we kind of have a big sister, little sister thing going on. But I mean, without any rivalry, I think we get along really well. We, uh, we work really well in the water, but we also get along really well uh, out of the water. Synchronized. Yeah, synchronized. synchronized. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your, what is your uh, relationship going to be like going into Rio now? I assume you're going to be spending lots of hours in the pool together? <laughs> I think so. We'll be training probably even more, uh, probably just getting stronger and uh, getting more, even more synchronized, you know, even refining those small little details, adding more difficulty into our routine. And the pressure, how do you deal with that? I mean, going into the events yesterday, uh, going into that, but then also knowing now that you're going to Rio. I think um, the pressure we felt yesterday is no different than the kind of pressure we put on ourselves on a day-to-day -day basis in practice. We want to make sure that we're perfect every time we swim anything. So really for us, it was just to concentrate on what we know, what the training that we've done for the last year, and really just go out there and blow it out of the water. And how are your families feeling? What have they been saying? <laughs> our families, I think both of our parents are really ecstatic at this moment. They're probably more excited than we are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what are your yeah. friends saying? Um, our Twitter and Facebook feeds have been exploding with amazing messages and honestly their support means the world to us so it's just good to, to feel them behind us like that. And like you were saying Corinne, to win uh, in Canada is, is something uh, most athletes dream of winning in, in, on home turf so absolutely. What, what is the significance for you then Jacqueline? as this is going to be your first Olympics too, but this Pan Am Games, what's the experience been like for you? I mean, it's not often that you get to compete in front of your friends and family and having everybody there supporting you. The stands were packed yesterday. It was incredible to hear that cheer once we come out of the water and just hear everybody yelling and screaming. You, you know that you've done a good job and made some people happy, so it was just incredible. I'm sure when you see moments like this on TV as a young child, you watch those moments, you remember them. Now you've participated in a moment that other people are going to be remembering. What does that feel like? Um, I, I mean, it's good for the sport. I hope we get to inspire the next generation of athletes that will one day want to be us and win a gold medal at Pan Am. So it's just good for us. I hope Synchro keeps going strong. And some people like me might assume, oh, now you're celebrating, right? You got a lot of time on your hands, but that's <laughs> not true. <laughs> we're, we're actually flying to Slovakia tonight for a training camp before our world championships in Russia. So um, we're pretty have a down pack schedule because we're trying to peak for worlds, actually. Yeah. Well, how long are you going to wear those gold medals around your necks? Uh, maybe for the day. Yeah. yeah. For today. Probably. Just today? I mean, <laughs> oh, we, we got to get right, right back into business. We're going yeah. back in the water. I can't have these hanging down on my neck. No, it's true. They're pretty heavy, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, can we see them as we, as we have to break? Let's, let's show those gold medals off. Look at that hardware. Jacqueline Simino and uh, Corinne Tom is joining us here in studio. Pan Am Games gold medal champions in duet synchronized swimming. Congratulations, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.